Uy, kung na-record na pala. <laughs> Uy, alam mo, um, sounds like a good bar name. Um, diba? Kala ko talaga, sounds like a good bar name. Kawa, alam mo yun? Ang puta mm-hmm. pala, ain't my problem. Mm-hmm. Kala ko, ang puta. <laughs> ngayon ko lang narinig yun. Honestly, ngayon ko lang narinig yun. No, honestly, I, I heard about that, like, parang like a year ago, and then my friends were like, we have been using it as Seriously, something oh, else. Oh. Tignan mo, Gail, kung masyado malakas the volumes there. Yeah, it's a bit loud. Okay, so uh, off air, uh, my next guests, we we're still discussing about, you know, finding out the real meaning of amp. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think this is a the theme of your show today. <laughs> It'd be fun. Yeah. I just, yeah, it's so the, discovering AMP. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, AMP. Uh, okay, I want to apologize to uh, the viewers on. Um, Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. That was me. Playback.tv slash magic899. Christian and uh, I'm sorry. I, the, the screen disappeared. It's so hard to like multitask sometimes. Um, MJ's tuned in. Uh, let's see. You can hear me click the, the clicking of the, the keyboard. Okay, that I can't pronounce. <laughs> and... The name is N E N R C S S. That's the name on the, the site. Benjo, hi. Benjo third, Astro, and Meng, hi. And Chris, thank you so much for uh, watching. Again, anywhere in the world, you can uh, bring the magic with you via playback.tv slash magic899, because I'm sure mm-hmm. my next guest already told the, the husband who's in Frisco. Yes. Watch me, baby. Yeah, he better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have, of course, back is a good friend of. Uh, I want to say that the good friend of the station, um, celebrity chef uh, Jonas Nam, of uh, James's daughter. No. Nox. 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 Thank you. A sommelier. Yes. Spell not sommelier. Uh, uh, I spell it as educated alcoholic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gail Sotelo is with us, and they're here because, oh my gosh, you guys are doing something great, mm-hmm. and we want to of course share it with um, all, all you viewers and listeners out there what is the name of the event that's happening so it's going to be an ask me anything yes with uh it's we've been doing it for a few years me and gail and mike and chad mm-hmm. it's usually shot in the restaurant james and daughters in estancia mm-hmm. wait la, mike and mike chad. is the photographer yeah, mike, yes yeah okay. the producer the photographer the Let's cameraman just give them a briefer of mm-hmm. uh the group mm-hmm. by the way guys They're my compadre, com- com- yeah. compadres, yeah. right? Yes, yeah, compadre, comadre, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Chef Jonas's beautiful baby boy yes. is one of my ina anaks. I know it's the worst ina, I swear. <laughs> People, stop getting me. Stop getting <laughs> me. Yeah, I've been, I've been holding her under the stick for those. <laughs> as a nina, right? So, just, just saying. Right? Okay, so, uh, their group, um, they teamed up a few years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, they've just been helping out, mm-hmm. and... I am so sorry for having been absent, but at least I do this now, Pambawe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and, and I know appreciate you're going to be there for the next one, right? Yes, yeah, you're yes. going to be there for the October 12 one. Yes, yeah. October 12. Mm-hmm. I'm yes. putting it down on my calendar. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, I am in Melbourne next October 12. Okay. I'll mm-hmm. join you online. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, absolutely. So we're actually giving <laughs> options for people who are not, um, you know, who are not available for, you know, who can't face make it to, face, to yeah, yes. for face to face in uh, in, in Estancia. So um, because we are welcoming everyone who are willing to donate, um, either their money or their time or whatever effort. That they can give, like such as this one, we're really, really grateful. This time, though, you're partnering up with Kite Foundation. Well, yes, we are. Okay. We tell are. us about Kite first. Okay, if um, you know, there's going to be like a lot of drama in their show because like I always cry whenever oh. I talk about Kite because um, I learned about it through um, one of the spokespeople, William Bayot, and he all he's very, very hands on with each case. And he started giving me numbers about like um you know the different cases that he's been handling. Um, do you know that there are only 10 full-time volunteers across 10 different hospitals, and each a total of the number of the kids that they are handling is 8,000 on and off. Oh my so gosh! So 10 people, right? 10 people, and not only that, these are underprivileged kids. So you have an idea. These are underprivileged kids who are either cancer-stricken or they have um, like some sort of a terminal disease, disease. Yeah. yeah, like really serious diseases, and yeah. So um, the other numbers that we are we were um, exposed to, we were told was that 
um, do you know that like you know you have to hit five years of being cancer free to be declared in remission. In remission. Oh. Now the thing is, sometimes they couldn't even hit that just because they don't have money for nutrition anymore. For us, um, for Jonas and myself, that's the thing that broke our hearts because yeah. we are in F and B. The simple fact that like you know for something as small as two thousand five hundred a month, that's the estimate that they have to yeah. be able to like sponsor. you know to, to sponsor um for their milk for their nutrition. They can't yeah. even make that. Right, um, the medical expenses they couldn't continue the medical expenses after the chemo, right? Just because they don't have eight thousand five hundred a month per child, it's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. So and it's yeah. hard because it, you're um, the the proper nutrition. Mm-hmm. You, you can never go. I mean, right, right the disease is going to come back. Yeah. A lot, a lot of it is in what they feed themselves yeah. as well, yeah. right? It's so heartbreaking. Yeah. Very. Yeah. So that's why we love working with Kaith. Um, and what we do, um, and what we technically do is, it's an ask me anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But every time we do an Ask Me Anything, it involves some sort of adult beverage yeah. and food. And it's, there's always a theme. <laughs> yes. But well, we always make sure... The alcohol. Yeah, loosen up and then like, yeah, I feel like a... It, usually usually at the start, the questions are interesting. But by the time we've had a few yes. drinks, oh my gosh, yeah. it becomes extremely honest. It just becomes funner. <laughs> uh, funner and louder. Like, you know, what I love about my events, because like whenever I do events, it's always alcohol driven. People start getting louder and louder and louder. It's just so much fun. So, okay. Yeah. But we, we always make sure to have a beneficiary involved. Yes, that's the thing. That's oh, the something thing that's close to our hearts. Yeah, it's, it's something that is not negotiable for all of our AMAs. This is going to be our 10th one. Right? So, yeah. So, always with a charity. My gosh, so. 10 years already? No, 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 no ten, 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 we, we do yeah. like... Oh, the 10th episode? Yeah, 10th episode, oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, um, mm-hmm. this is how many... Uh, how many times have you worked with Kite on this one? This is going to be our first time. Oh, so we did nice. other charities as well because uh, we kind of go around. There's uh-huh. many, many, you know, we there are many causes that are close to our hearts. We are very picky about each and every one of them as long as it's something that resonates with yeah. us. Mm-hmm. Kite in particular resonated with us so much precisely because of the numbers that we just mentioned. It's just... You know. And once you see that, like when you see the faces of these kids yes. and the energy they give, Ay, wala yeah. na. Like, wala. Wala. you just they don't care. Yeah. They just they yeah. just they're just full of life. Yeah, because yeah. like you know, um, you, you you know, we we're exposed to different kids. I mean, well, you, as you said, like um, Jonas has a beautiful, beautiful son. Oh gosh, you guys should see. Yeah, him. God, he's. I'll bring him one of these days. Yeah, he should. He should be in the show. Maverick yeah. is just Maverick. a good-looking boy. Yes, you guys. Yes. I'm gonna post a, a picture of him on Softnet <laughs> with Chef Jonas's permission. I mean, this kid is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, and has quite the personality right. may I just hello. say <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> clearly his kid yeah but like you know you, you're exposed to um those beautiful kids and then you see these kids from Kaith um you know it's as if like nothing has happened because we were exposed to like one of their you know we were guests in one of their children's parties they have this beautiful death in mm-hmm. them like you know they've seen things you know what I mean so it's 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 Beautiful. They, they just they 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 appreciate every single yeah, thing. Yeah, they have this like beautiful. they appreciate life. Yeah, more absolutely. more than anything. Because mm-hmm. like, pag ganon talaga pag bata eh. Yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. I mean, I I wish mm-hmm. it's a it's a trait that as we grow older we, never we get to keep. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, we just we lose it along the way. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, we we complain about being stuck in traffic, about yeah. having too much work, or, or not having Wi Fi. These kids are in and out of hospitals every yeah. single day. And yeah. No proper nutrition for crying out. Yeah, and it's it's also heartbreaking because these kids. I mean, we're looking at kids at about what um as young as infants all the way to like eleven. Yeah. They should be spending this time being kids, and yeah. they can't because they're, they're in the in hospital the- all the time, right? So it's. Oh. There you go, Gail. Getting over. <laughs> yeah, this is this is kind of like the danger of doing right. this particular you know episode because I'm kind of like ah. <laughs> Josh MD student. Hi, Josh. Okay, we will talk more about the event. I gotta play a little bit of more today's best music. You guys check this one out from December Avenue. I know they're having a concert very very soon. This one's called Paraya on today's best music. Bye-bye. Okay, hold on. Woo-hoo. Hello, guys. Uh, yay, we're at Commercial, so I can.